Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBPNet's video series on C++ multithreading and this is a general topic which is mainly asked in interviews so pay attention to this video. So problem with sharing data between threads. So everyone knows that we can share data between threads and it adds a greater flexibility in scenarios where you have to have many threads but then they will end up sharing the data. But that's the happy happy part actually there is a big problem when you share data across threads let's see i mean i'll give you two three examples you can extend it like to any example after listening to these examples so first is or before actually going there let me tell you thing which actually creates problem the problem arise when there are invariants in your system meaning you cannot change them or change their meaning or change their structure but while you are doing some operation, they do change. I'll tell you what I mean. So let me repeat this again. There are invariants in your system which you cannot change, but they do change and that cause issue. So let me give you a simple example. Let's say one thread, let's say T1 is actually maintaining one array. Let's say this is the array and T2 is holding the count how many elements are then there in the array. So we have index 0, 1, 2, 3 and there is just maybe let's say A. There is just one element in this. So the count is 1. If let's say there are two elements then the count would be 2. Correct? So this is the job. Now let's see what is the relation. The relation is this count, let's say count, hold or we should say always hold or always should hold the exact value. But the point is to maintain this is really hard because let's say your thread one is going to change or going to increment or decrement. Let's say it is going to assign this C and then somehow it will signal to T2 that okay yeah I have done it you can increment it by one or I have removed it you can decrement it by one. But can you see this T1 actually incremented the count of this array but this is still 2. Now we have to modify this and for this instance of time this is not holding invariant at all. Now T2 will get a signal or maybe it's just like maybe T1 modified and in the next line maybe T2 is also going to modify this or parallelly they are doing it. So T1 also modified this and T2 modified this parallelly but wait a minute what do you mean by parallel? It is so hard to define that at the same time this C was inserted here and 2 was actually incremented to 3. No, it is rarely possible that at the same time if you will break the time unit into smaller pieces you will still see C was modified before or T2 meaning this was modified before and then it became C. So there is a slight delay and in that delay only we are not sure that invariant is holding or not. Once both are done then we know that okay there are three values and we have three here. So then it is invariant. Now you got the point right. I'll give you another example so it will make more sense. Let's say we have a doubly linked list. I found this example somewhere and it is like a really cool example. So we have this doubly linked list how it looks right. So it is going to be a little clumsy. I don't know. Am I drawing correct? Yeah. Yeah, this is null. Yeah, this has to be maybe. Let's say we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let's say T1 is actually traversing this doubly linked list and let's say T2 is going to delete this node. Now in order to delete a doubly linked list node, we all know that this node, let's say this is n node, then this is n minus 1 node and this is n plus 1 node. So if you are trying to delete nth node then in that case this n minus 1 node will have to point this node and this guy will have to point this right then only you will delete it so this is a two step process and yeah wait a minute holding invariant becomes so tough when you have a single job you say that okay i'm going to delete this node but that requires multiple of steps it's not just single job but it might look single job saying that okay I'm going to delete this but then you may end up doing multiple processes at the same time. I mean under that deletion. So that is not a single job. I mean you got the point I guess. So in that case it is very hard to say that okay 
my invariant property is actually holding. I'll explain you that here also. Let's say T2 is going to delete this. T1 started traversing this. By the moment, T2 have just made this pointer to point to this guy and T2 have already, I mean T1 have already reached here. Now T1 in next cycle will jump here. But the problem is this node is now making the whole data structure inconsistent or it is not holding the invariant property because things are not in proper order. This is still pointing here. This guy is pointing here. There is no pointer which is actually pointing to this guy from here and this guy is still pointing here. So things are like messy. This is not how a doubly linked list should be. That's why it is not in holding invariant property. So anything is possible here in this scenario. So I think you got the point here. And once let's say T2 is done deleting this, meaning this is actually pointing to the next and this is also pointing to the previous, then you are free to delete this, this is deleted. And then the system is again holding the invariant property or this data structure is again holding the invariant property. But in the middle of this deletion step, it was not holding the invariant property because okay, T1 was traversing. Let's say maybe there is another thread T3 and that three was actually holding this pointer and it just wanted to know who is next of this one. So if T2 was halfway there, then this time T3 will see next is this guy. But the problem is this guy is still saying that my previous is this guy, not this guy. So T3 might take some different decision or it can blow your whole world if this data structure is going wrong for some reason. I think you are catching up the point now. So the more number of invariants are available in your program, it will be that much complex to maintain the consistency or the invariant properties if you are maintaining more than one thread. So when next time someone asks you about this, you give these examples about invariants in the system and just give all these examples. They'll be more than happy after listening to these things. So I think you got the point, man. Thanks for watching guys. And in next video, we'll see what is the solution to this problem because just now I have discussed what is the problem. We are discussing the problem here, not the solution. So the solution is very simple. That's called race condition handling. So for this video, we'll keep this much only. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.